Alright, so this is where our web page is right now, and I'm sure you're very impressed by the the way it looks. So let's go ahead and add some more uh, stuff to it. <coughs> so the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to add another um, another uh, H2 tag, and I'm going to say um, uh, this class. And then I'm going to close the H2 tag. And we'll make sure it works. And sure enough, it does. Unfortunately, we're getting out. <coughs> uh, okay, so this is class. And then underneath, I'm going to go ahead and put some text. So uh, fortunately, I've already put the text. Blah blah blah. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this. Uh, I'm taking this out of Microsoft Word, and uh, good thing about Word is it has a spell checker in it, and that's why I like using it to go ahead and developing the content. Uh, then I'll go ahead and copy and paste it into HTML Kit, and now I have some content. You notice there's no um, no spaces on that. So if I go ahead and preview it. And this is how it's going to look. All right, that's fine. Uh, the only thing is that I would want this to look a little bit different. So I'm going to go ahead and change a couple of things. And that is I'm going to, uh, instead of making this a just a regular paragraph, like there's no paragraph here, and it's, that's wrong. But I'm going to go ahead and make it a block quote, quote block quote. And this is going to make it um, so that it is indented from the rest of my material. And I'm going to close my block quote. Okay, and now if I preview it, you can see now it's a little bit different. It's indented in from everything, so it looks, it looks a little bit different than everything else. And that's what a block quote does. If I wanted to put a regular quote in there, let me bring it, bring it back. Uh, this class will help and say I want to put quotations around that. I would simply use the Q tag and then close it up. Okay, and then we'll preview it. And you can see there's nothing there. And that is because the Q tag doesn't have a close tag. It is just Q and Q. And this doesn't support that, so we will not see it in here. That's unfortunate. Okay, so uh, the next thing I want to do is um, I want to go ahead and add a list. And the list is going to be, so I'm going to add H2 again. And this is um, how to be success. Okay, then I'll close it, H2, and then I'll go check it, and there we are, and I'm going to put a list in, so list of steps that you'll need to take, so I'll start with a OL, and then I'll close it, and fortunately um, I have already put in some I already have some list items so it saves us some time and they should be indented a little bit so you can see where you're going each of these will start with an LI and you can see I was trying to do that that didn't work okay so Line, always do your lessons, close line. Line, break up the time you do to work on the class into separate times a week, close line. Line, and here I'm going to put some emphasis in, we'll see if that works. And then close LI, and then line, and then best friends are copy and paste. Alright, so um, the only thing I have to do is close that OL. Whoops. And 
we do that with a slash. Oh well. Okay, when I preview it, had to be successful, and there are our numbers. Um, if I simply go back and change this O to a U, and change this O to a U, it's uh, going to be that. You see there's that emphasis right there. That, that works. <coughs> Alright, one last thing we're going to do real quick Oops. is I want to go ahead and save this. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and create another page. And I'm going to call this other page. And I'm going to put our style in. And then in the body, I'm just going to put <coughs> H2, other page, close the H2. Okay, I'll preview it, make sure everything's working. There we go. And then I'll go ahead and save this page. And there's our index page that we were using. And now I'm going to go ahead and create another page and we'll call this all lowercase other.html. And then we'll go ahead and save it. And then I'll come down here and I'll link to it. So after the UL, I'm simply going to have a, um, I'm going to use the A tag. And you can see it automatically put in href. And this is going to be the other.html. The other thing I have to add is other page and when we take a look at it we can see that there is a hyperlink now and when I click on that it takes me to that other page okay so the only thing I need to do is if I open up that page I can also underneath this I can say um, a and then index.html. Okay, that's going to take us back to our home page. And we'll go back to home page. And I'll go ahead and preview that. There's the hyperlink. And in fact, I can test it. And it goes back. And then I can save this and close it. And now I have a website that actually functions by going back and forth. Okay, not the, not the prettiest thing in the world, but at least now you know how all the tags work.